John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to compare the all new OMG 500S, which is Omega's centrifugal ejection style machine that runs 11,000 RPMs in the high mode against the Omega VSJ843. Now, I must let you guys know that you know I have a personal preference between these two machines, and maybe at the end of this video you will see potentially why I have that preference. I actually prefer the Omega VSJ843, which is a slow juicer or cold press juicer, instead of a high speed centrifugal ejection style machine. Now I think it's sad that most juicers on the market are centrifugal ejection style machines that run at high speed. This technology, in my opinion, is dated. It's like, I don't know, 25 year old technology. And uh, juicers, much like cell phones or cars, have improved since then. And the slow juicers represent the latest technology. Now. Let me explain how these guys work for you guys. So this guy runs at high speed. How it works is basically um, like that uh, grater, the salad grater for grating carrots you know you would use. Basically what happens is this has a high spinning blade. Uh, consequently it is actually loud. And this blade is spinning around. It has like these little teeth on it. So what happens is uh, the produce comes in contact with the teeth. It is micro shredded. Upon being micro shred, uh, the pulp is kicked out into the back. The juice goes out these little holes and out through the front. So so that is how this guy works. Let's go ahead and uh, reassemble this guy real quick and easy. And the benefit of this style machine is that it actually is really fast. It's super fast. You could be able to make a juice and clean up in under 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes if you're super quick, right? Now over on this side, the VSJ843 uh, works a little bit differently. It runs at 43 revolutions per minute and it doesn't have a high speed blade. So consequently, it's actually probably one of the quietest juicers that I've tested to date. And how this works instead is that this has an auger, much like your old fashioned meat grinder, you know, that you might have had as a kid. You put the produce in here, uh, it basically gets crushed and squeezed, right? And as it's crushing, it's grinding, it's grinding, crushing, and squeezing all at the same time. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but it squeezes out the produce. And what happens is they have this uh, screen here that as this is crushing and squeezing the juice out, it comes out the screen at low velocity. So it's not being you know, imparted with uh, air, which uh, lowers the nutrition uh, from the studies I've seen. And then the uh, juice comes out one side on this and the pulp comes out the other side on this guy. So uh, this is the one I prefer mainly because, you know, uh, you could see the quality difference in the juice, but more importantly, you could taste it. And also there are studies to show that actually a slow juicer compared to a high speed juicer when juicing broccoli, for instance, had 50% more cancer-fighting activity in uh, you know studies they did in test tubes. So I don't know about you, but you know I would rather have 50% more uh, you know phytochemicals and phytonutrients to protect me against disease than not. Now both these machines are fairly easy to clean. Uh, of course, this guy is a little bit cleaner, but this guy, the VSJ, takes me about three minutes to clean, and the VSJ is the easiest to clean vertical single auger juicer of any juicer I have tested to date. Some other reasons why you might want to purchase one or the other is based on what specifically you are juicing and other criteria that is important to you. Like if you think of juicing as a long-term investment for your health like it is for me, you're going to want to go with the VSJ because that has a 15-year warranty. Over on the OMG 500S, it has a three-year warranty, which is still pretty long, but you know, 15 years, you're going to be guaranteed juicing by just buying this juicer. And that's what I really like. Now, of course, things like carrots and hard vegetables and hard firm fruits are going to juice fairly well in the OMG 500S and will also do fairly well in the VSJ843. But the problem arises and when you're starting to juice softer fruits. So they have a switch on here for the low speed, which is gonna help extract juice out of the softer fruits, such as we're gonna juice the watermelon today on this machine. And this machine always runs at the same 43 RPMs and you don't have to set it, right? The other thing where the major advantage is, is that this machine over on this side will juice the leafy greens very effectively. It's probably one of the most effective juicers on the leafy greens. That's things like kale, cabbage, spinach, arugula, head lettuce, things like that. 
And, um, and this guy over on this side is not going to juice it as effectively. You're going to put the leaves in there and they're going to come out pretty much whole or in like big large chunks without getting a lot of juice out of them. So between the, some of the phytochemical nutrient loss and between the fact that it won't juice leafy greens, you know, that's why I really like the slow juices because these are the, some of the most important criteria for me is having high nutrition and be able to get more of these leafy greens in me. The per capita consumption of kale these days is about six ounces a year for kale and I try to get that like in one juice and I always encourage you guys to rotate your juices if you're juicing kale today do spinach the next day do bok choy the following day do you know uh, charred leaves the next day do some dandelion the following day and always rotate and mix up your juices so you get a wide spectrum of different phytochemicals phytonutrients vitamins and minerals into you because it's these things in my opinion are the disease fighters of the world you know and it's quite unfortunate that people in this day and age are are eating disease promoting foods and what are those foods those things are foods like processed foods junk foods you know um, animal foods you know whether that's meat dairy eggs cheese these things are being consumed in far too much excess and that's why i really like the juices because they allow you to increase the uptake you know of the fruits and vegetables that you might not normally eat like a pound of carrots but you could easily juice the pound of carrots and get the nutrition out of the pound of carrots and then get them into you so that your body can benefit from all the rich phytochemicals and rich antioxidant pigments contained in the fruits and vegetables. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into juicing this nice large watermelon here. Now watermelon can be juiced with the skin, with the seeds and everything. Uh, normally if you have a non-organic watermelon, you would want to remove the skin because there may be toxins or pesticides on the outside. And uh, even if I have an organic watermelon, sometimes like I do today, I just remove the skin anyways, uh, especially when making this video. I, wanna, I want to show you the rich, vibrant colors of the juice that's being produced. And if I put the green skin, it's going to be a lot more green and dark and, not, and look more ruddy. So you won't be able to tell like, the clear difference between the slow and the high speed juicer. Now, when you do juice the skin of the watermelon, it's really good because it has a lot of chlorophyll in there. And chlorophyll, in my opinion, is an essential nutrient for us. I mean, that's why they say wheatgrass and leafy greens are so good because of the chlorophyll. But guess what? The watermelon also has the chlorophyll. And everybody knows that watermelon has tons of lycopene, a very important phytonutrient that we should be getting in every day. Now, before I start cutting this watermelon, I'm going to probably cut it in half and then shave off the skin and uh, juice it in each machine. I want to let you guys know how loud these machines are. So over on the OMG 500S, we're going to go ahead and hit the low button. So that's the OMG 500S running it low. i got to raise my voice so that you guys can hear me. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. And that's not necessarily a good thing if you got, you know, a family members, roommates sleeping in the morning and you're trying to juice. It's going to wake them up. I mean, I was once described as, you know, John, the juicer sounds like an airplane taking off in my kitchen because they can be loud. Now, check this one out. VSJ843, one of the most quiet juicers on the planet at this time. I mean, that's a nice, soft motor hum, and it's not really that loud. And this one you could easily juice while roommates or family members are sleeping. Plus also, you know, uh, based on studies I've seen, the juice made with this, the slow juicer, you know, will last longer than the juice made with the high speed machine. Now let's go ahead and cut up this watermelon. I'm going to just try to basically do my best to cut this in half, even Steven. But uh, this is not a scientific test by any means on a yield today. I just want to show you guys the quality of the juice made in each of the juicers. Now this is a seedless watermelon. So I always encourage you guys to purchase watermelons with seeds. I, I prefer those over the uh, seedless ones because the seeds are a source of nutrients and they will add nutrition to the juices you're making. Um, if, if you juice the seeds, a lot of juices will crush them up and extract some of the nutrients from the seeds and put it in your juice. And actually, I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, here's the watermelon. So what we're going to do is I like to just uh, shave off the outer coloring so that we have the rich, uh, rich um, color of the watermelon when we juice it. Now, once again, you can juice this stuff, but I'm just taking it off today. Also, if you leave the rind on, then it, you know the juice will not be as sweet. So that's another reason why I'm... I'm taking it off because I want a sweet juice today. Now sometimes, you know, when you get a watermelon and it's just not that sweet and you're like eating it, you're like, man, this is not a good watermelon. What I like to do with it in that case is I like to juice it because when you juice a watermelon, you remove all the fiber, right? And you concentrate 
the water, the nutrients, as well as the sugar. So it's gonna taste a lot better than just eating a watermelon that doesn't taste so good. So I do that often. So I do wanna talk about the fiber here for a second. A lot of people say, John, you're removing all the fiber when you're juicing, man, so you get a blood sugar rush. Well, you know, I will say that a full watermelon has more fiber than a juiced watermelon, but what I will also say is that there are two kinds of fiber. There's soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. And when you're juicing, you're only removing the insoluble fiber because the soluble fiber is soluble in water. So that means it dissolves in the water. So you're still getting all that fiber. So this is gonna you know, re regulate your blood sugar a little bit. Plus also it's been discovered that there are certain phytonutrients and nutrients in things, uh, different uh, plant foods like apples, for example, that slow down the uptake of the sugar um, you know, that is in the fruit that you're eating. All right, so we got this half already uh, shaved off. Now let's go for this other half. All right, so now we got two halves of watermelons and let's go ahead and juice it up. First, we're gonna use the OMG 500S and I like because it has such a large feed chute, you know, we could cut this into actually fairly large pieces. Let's see if I, how many cuts I'll make. One, two, three going this way and then we'll do another three going this way. One, two, three. All right, so I got that cut, turn this on low and let's get juicing. All right, we ran out of pitcher space. <laughs> we juiced almost all that watermelon. As you guys can see, this is the result. Let's go ahead and juice it in the VSJ843 now. And uh, this one, we're gonna actually have to cut into a little bit smaller pieces because the feed chute is not quite as large. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll probably do about seven again. Maybe one, two, three, four. So yes, the feed chute size is one factor in selecting a juicer, but it shouldn't be your only one in my opinion. I do like on the VSJ843, basically you're just gonna go ahead and put a piece of watermelon in there and literally it's just gonna auto feed so you don't have to sit there with the pusher and push things in and actually on the VSJ I recommend you don't push things in because if you do then you're gonna probably be juicing things too fast and you may clog the machine up. So I'm just going at a nice rate and just dropping the uh, produce into the machine as it accepts it. Alright it looks like we're just about full uh, from juicing on the VSJ843 actually I think we might get overflowed. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it off and we're gonna put the spout cap down. I do like that they have the spout cap. And I wanna show you guys this here for a second. So these are the two juices we created. I don't know if you guys can see that close up, but which one of them to you look darker? Like the one on the VSJ looks a lot more deep red if you notice that. I mean, it might just be a shade red, but look very closely. This one's like not quite as red, not quite as deep a color. It also has a lot more foam and it's got some uh, separation there. So I guess the next we're going to go ahead and uh, try these two. Mm. Smooth, sweet, delicious. Let's go ahead and try this guy. Mm. Aerated, not as sweet, and I don't know, I wouldn't say bubbly, but aerated, not as sweet, and it doesn't have like the flavor punch that the juice made in the VSJ juicer made, you know, to my taste buds. So yeah, that's the differences. I mean, I don't know about the yield because uh, it looks like we actually had a lot more um, watermelon left on this side versus this side. So if we would have juiced more, this probably would have won in the yield. And oh, I want to show you guys, this is very telling actually also. I want to show you guys the pulp. So I mean, the pulp in the OMG 500S, it's like really mushy and we squeeze it, it like squeezes everywhere and you can see the juice flying out my fingertips. It's still fairly wet actually, it's actually quite wet. Now if we take the pulp over on the uh, Omega VSJ843, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not very wet at all. It's actually done a, a good job. Now if I squeeze this, all you guys see is actually me squeezing out the pulp. And yeah, you see a few drops coming out but there's not you know, a significant amount of moisture left in the pulp. It did a significantly better job uh, juicing the watermelon. So in this test, we learned that VSJ is actually more efficient 
and did a better job at juicing the watermelon than the Omega OMG 500S. It also made a better tasting juice. Better tasting, higher yield, longer warranty, more nutrition. That's why I personally choose the Omega VSJ 843 to use in my kitchen when I'm juicing things like the watermelon as well as other fruits and vegetables. I guess I'm going to go ahead and drink some of this stuff and get back to juicing the rest. If you guys enjoyed this video, hey, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. And also, I would encourage you guys, if you enjoyed this video, to please support me and my work. You know, when you make your purchase at DiscountJuicers.com, it allows me to continue to make these videos to educate you guys about all aspects of eating more fruits and vegetables, even how to grow them, you know, so that you can be as healthy as you can and live to your health potential. And it's sad, in my opinion, that so many people in this day and age are not living to their health potential. So I thank you guys in advance for those of you guys that have purchased from me in the past and for those of you guys that will purchase from me in the future so I can continue my mission you know, to share the message of health. Also be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 400 episodes now comparing all the different juicers, this one to that one, this one to that one, and letting you guys know how they work so that you could choose the best juice for you. And be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes that I have coming, about, coming out about every five to seven days because you never know what juicer or other kitchen appliance that allows you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables I'll be reviewing next. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. So we another exciting episode for you, and this is a very special episode for me because it's one with my beautiful girlfriend, Lauren. Hello. <laughs> and uh, today... What uh, she's going to do, I'm not even going to do it, is actually she's going to go over the different juicers that she has had in the past and her current favorite one that she's using now.